you can try this out with the if you don't have the iron filings you can draw it draw it such lines of force using a magnetic compass i just told you what it is keep the magnetic compass near the north pole how do you know which pole is north pole okay sometimes there is a red dot near it okay now so uh, there is a red dot near the north pole and the other side is free blank now what you do is you place a magnetic compass such that it is close to this pole and you would notice that the south pole faces this north and the north pole is away so mark north and south so this is north and this is south why do we have the south pole here because that south pole is attracted by this north pole now take out the compass place it in such a way that again its south pole is close to the earlier dot and the north pole will face wherever it faces faces mark north and south once again similarly go on lifting the compass go on moving it right such that its south pole always is close to the north pole which you have marked earlier this way if you continue marking out then you will see such a pattern on one side and a similar pattern on the other side you can of course repeat the experiment keeping the compass needle at various other places now once you have removed the compass you join you have these dots join them by continuous lines so when you join them by continuous lines you get your lines of force okay one normally believes that when these lines will meet at a point here they do not remember the lines don't meet but they seem to be converging to a point and that point is north pole similarly these lines converge at a point and wherever they converge that point seem to converge is called the south pole the arrow should be drawn from north to south north to south you may have lines going like this like this you can show an arrow here you can show an arrow coming in and this you cannot verify that there are lines from south to north inside the compass so this is another experiment which will give you the pattern of magnetic lines of force around a bar magnet why did we discuss bar magnet because when we are going to um, talk about the magnetic effect of the current the bar magnet would come in the picture you would also know that in note that if you have this bar magnet if your magnetic the lines of force if you had kept your magnetic compass you would, as told you earlier that they would be crowded near the poles and in this region in the central region there are hardly any lines there are hardly any lines and magnetic field therefore is said to be the strongest at the poles and very weak here here the distance between them goes on increasing okay they go farther and farther so as you go farther and farther you will have you will have very large distances and therefore you will have a very weak magnetic field so if you are close to the bar magnet uh, i'm sorry if a, bar, if, if a compass needle is close to the bar magnet then it will feel the magnet effect very strongly and if it is far away the magnetic effect will wear down okay so it is going to be lesser and lesser as you go away from this from the poles now magnetic field is a vector quantity it is a vector quantity if it is a vector quantity it will have a magnitude i just talked about the magnitude i told you that the magnitude you would find to be a maximum at the poles and minimum at the in the central region so it has a magnitude and it also has a direction now how do we decide the direction the direction of the magnetic field is taken to be the direction in which the north pole of a compass needle will move so if you had kept in these are the lines of force if you keep the if uh, you keep a compass here compass needle then the compass needle will show as i said the north in this direction 
If the compass needle shows, then this is the direction of the magnetic field. If it is a curve, we draw a tangent. If it is a curve, we draw a tangent. Okay, It is a curve, so we draw a tangent and this is said to be the direction of the magnetic field at any point. So, it has a magnitude and it has a direction because it is a vector quantity. It always, so what are the properties of the magnetic lines of force? The properties are three major properties. First is they start from a north pole, they start from a north pole and end at south. They are closed curves, closed curves, not only closed, they are closed continuous curves, remember that, closed and continuous curves, okay. Then their direction is given by direction of the magnetic, with the property direction is given, direction of the magnetic field is given by the given by the tangent at a point at the point where you are trying to find out the magnetic field right from north to south. Third, the degree of closeness, the degree of closeness how close they are, how far they are decides the intensity or the decides the strength of the field, strength of the field. So, if the lines are very close, very lines are very close, it means strong magnetic field and if they are far away, it means weak magnetic field, all right. So, that is how it is decided. Then lastly, it is a very important fact that the lines do not intersect, these magnetic lines of force, force do not ever intersect. Why, why is that so? I told you, I told you suppose these are the two lines and you want to, this is the direction okay? and if they intersected at this point, the magnetic line magnetic line will have this direction, magnetic field will have this direction on this and because of this line it will have this direction. What it means is that the magnetic field will have two direction at the same point. It is not possible because a vector quantity cannot have two directions. It has a definite direction and a definite magnitude. Therefore, magnetic line of lines of force can never intersect. So, these are the very important properties of magnetic field. Now, Suppose magnetic field is uniform, what do we mean by uniform magnetic field? It is a very important concept because we use it very often in practical applications. Uniform magnetic field, how would you show magnetic uniform field? Uniform magnetic field, you will show them by parallel lines and not like this, no, they have to be equidistant. All right. So, they have to be equidistant because not only the direction remains same, also the magnitude remains same. So, this distance is equal to this distance equal to this distance equal to this distance. All right. So, that is how a uniform field is normally shown. As you will see, it is very important. We will see it in our applications, how it comes about, how do we get it and what are the uses.